Steady, steady aim at the target I'm flooding the market A break from the garbage An artist Sensitive about mind pardon No margin for error Flawless be rarer The black cat goddess You walk walking with a panther Painting these pictures with words like Samantha My Hey, it's your girl, Matter Money, aka Trap, 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 coming through with the official Salt in the Game album review of Logic's No Pressure. Make sure you hit that like button, make sure you hit that subscribe button, and let's get it. Now, most of y'all know that I'm not the biggest Logic fan for a number of reasons other than his actual discography, his actual body of work. You feel me? Once you get some type of systemic things in the industry or you get this type of you know, narrative about you, uh, I tend to to take what other artists are saying about other artists in consideration all the time. But I promise you, I stepped into this project with a clear mind, a clear head, and no stigmatisms about logic. So let's get into it. Now, first off of the rip, here we go again with the tricks. You feel me? It's supposed to be the no ID produced, it's executive produced by no ID this is not something like a 444 situation where every track is actually produced by no ID he actually only produces three tracks on this album is nine tracks on this album put produced by a producer named six which commendable you know even if no ID is at the helm and forming the sound around this album I really 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 do appreciate his touch that he put on this but please sir don't you know don't come out here and try to trick the people straight off the rip okay now as we get into this album you feel me i went back into logic's discography and to find out that he's been steadily putting out work some some years he put out two projects at a time uh you feel me and that is a commendable thing to do in this game you feel me i i, I respect the artist that is consistent and consistently puts out at least an album a year or if you give me two albums in one year you could take a year off as long as there's some substantial things going on with it all right but into the review now the intro on this album is it's the intro it is a, a you know playoff of aliens with austin wells and all of this stuff if you don't know better ask somebody type shit and it's fine and then it goes into a track hit my line now i really did enjoy this track off the first listen i really really was i dig in the track hit my line uh, i do want to encourage all my rap niggas out there that i deal with that is enough space at the end of this album you might be able to throw a verse in there you feel me i'm always on the grind trying to do something for y'all it's enough space on the back of this out on this track that you could you could put a hot ass uh 16 to or whatever whatever have you but moving right along is a song gp4 now this was an instant reminder of why i don't deal with sun here he comes off sounding exactly like Kendrick Lamar, Kendrick Lamar's flow. So when somebody like R. A, the rugged man, comes out here and he tries to put up a list saying that Logic is better than Joe Button. And he used a point and factor about flows when Logic does nothing but steals other people's flows. Your whole list is invalid. Those two people should not even be in a comparison with each other. Why are you just comparing them because they two light-skinned niggas? Like, what the fuck is going on here? R. A, the rugged man. That's why, you know what I mean? When people just come out there and try to do whatever and say whatever just for some type of effects, that's probably the most attention that he's got in all year and he's dropped a valid project this year you feel me all my heroes are dead you feel me but i can't take your opinion and none of this shit to be valid if you're gonna sit out here and try to say that logic's flow compared to joe button's flow logic will win that's just an that's just an anomaly anal like that's just something that's not gonna happen because joe button is unequivocally joe button but logic logic is a lot of people put together and the one thing about this do this album as it does go along and there's a couple tracks in here i do want to say the production is amazing i cannot stress that enough that when i say production too i mean the way that the album is fully put together it is one big thought a full concept album put into play and for a final album i am digging that type of effects 
But when you paying homage to people like Kanye West on there because you use perfect, which is something that he overdid, you feel me, or the life of Pablo, or you come in there and you're using outcast samples on Man uh, Man I Is and all of these effects that you're putting in the album to make it interesting, I cannot quote a bar from Logic on this whole entire album. I can't. I don't know how much replay value this album really has, to be honest with you. It's not something that I would sit around and listen to again, even though it is a couple tracks on there that is okay. You feel me? Amen. I liked it that a lot. Um, but there is more like skippable things on here than me than a solid, you know, listen th through. Like how many times I'm going to listen to this album over and over again? It's not going to be too many times. Um, you feel me? Logic himself is retiring so he says it's you know rappers don't really retire they just take time off and instead of saying they're taking time off they like to say they retire but you feel me I, I wouldn't be mad given his body of work his discography if he never uh came into the game or dropped another album again that's not a discredit to logic at all but you feel me when you have a whole bunch of these things going on you have a whole bunch of these tricks going on in the album it, it it goes to show like the lyricism it, it might not fully be there but this is a good body of work you feel me i'm not gonna sit here and say that it's not or that it's garbage or that it's trash but just be careful when these type of artists try to give you a body of work like this and they're drawn from so many influences and even though they're paying homage to some of them you might miss the parts that they actually are taking away from other artists i'm madam money you can follow me on twitter at madam money says that's m-a-d-a-m-m-o-n-e-y-s-a-y-s -E make sure you hit the like button make sure you look hit the subscribe button make sure you share the video and i'll be seeing you guys around Talking about Kundalini, this the glow up The beast back, blood gates, she unleashed that He's back, you don't know where my peeps at I keep that heat that I light your soul up Talking about Kundalini, this the glow up This is opulence Focus and confidence